Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. This is Dash, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a series, maybe four or five videos of some of my frequently, most frequently asked questions. This one is, what type of wood do I use? All right, here we go. I've talked about this in multiple live streams, and you know, some of you guys just aren't able to make the live streams, and that's all well and good. So here's the deal. I use what wood is available to me in my area. It is very expensive to ship wood in or to ship wood period. So what I've done in order to get wood is I've spoken to a arborist. An arborist is a guy who you see or you know that cuts down trees. My arborist, my local arborist cuts down trees and he also sells firewood. Now, my guy is pretty, you know, is, is pretty inexpensive. I pay less than $200 for a cord of wood. In my area, that's dirt cheap. In your area where you might live in a more wooded area or in the middle of nowhere, you might be able to get wood cheaper than I do. Now, I'm also only buying one cord at a time. There's some times when you might be able to get an arborist or a tree service that will give you a deal if you're buying five cords of wood. I don't have a place to put five cords of wood. Maybe you do. And I'm also not big enough yet as far as uh, having a barbecue facility to need that much wood to have on site right now. Usually once I get down to about a quarter of a cord, I call my guy up and I say, hey, I need wood. And he usually gives me like a day to a three day window where he'll come and he'll drop the wood in the backyard. If you haven't already, here's a video of, or there, the video will be in one of the corners of one of the last times I got wood delivered and I shot a video on it. You'll meet my man Bob. Bob actually um, is not doing as well as I would like, um, but his son, thank goodness, is actually continuing on and still doing his business. Nonetheless, in my area, the most prevalent wood is oak. There's white oak, there's red oak. I don't believe we have any post oak in this area, but Oak is probably 80% of the wood that I use. Now, I have and do use mulberry, I have and uh, used locust, and then I'll also use fruit trees. We have some apple and we have uh, uh, plum, I've used plum before, and also cherry. Uh, in this area, those are the most prevalent, in this area, those are the most prevalent woods and the most easily accessible woods so that I can use and they're, like I said, they're inexpensive. Where you live, if you're out in Texas, let's, let's say, you might have access to mesquite, okay? If you're down in the, North, in the Carolinas, you might have access to hickory. If you're further out west, I don't know, you know, what other types of woods you might be using out there, but again, maybe if you're further north, you might be using some maple, Nonetheless, the only thing you do not want to use is pine. You do not want to use pine. You do not want to use evergreen. They put off nasty oils that are actually, uh, they'll make you sick if you ingest them. So nonetheless, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this answers some questions for you guys that ask me all the time. What type of wood I use? To me, it's not about the wood, it's about getting the seasoning the flavor on your on your food food and then cooking it properly not always about the wood to me nonetheless thank you as always for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe if you like what you saw today if you learned something please leave me a thumbs up down below and i'll see you next time Peace.